Hey guys, and welcome to something new, a tutorial, tutorial on how to get a much cleaner audio signal from your microphone, whether it's a headset, as I'm going to show you, or a microphone, this is an Electro Voice RE320, we are going to see what we can do to remove maybe mechanical keyboard clicks, or even a loud clicky mouse like this one. So the first thing I want to do is I kind of want to show you what I'm doing. Uh, currently, you're hearing this microphone processed using VST host, which I have right here uh, as a graphical representation. You can kind of see my voice right here, um, trying to keep it out of the way so that you can still see me and I, I'm not blocking any of the windows here that I'm going to be showing you. But this is processed. This is me typing. I'm just doing this. And you can't, you can't really hear it as much as you'd think you would. Now, as an example of kind of what we're going to be able to do, I'm going to bypass the subtraction, the reduction of all this noise. So now, without this, I sound a little different. It sounds like a little bit more room noise. And there is my keyboard. So if you're playing a game, if you're trying to talk and play the game at the same time, you're hearing a lot of those clicks and I mean, it's just, it's, it's distracting. At least for me, it's really, really distracting. So the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to actually walk up setting up the software, which I'm going to do using this. And then I'm going to go through setting it up with a headset and then what it's going to sound like with the microphone raw and then processed. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to follow along. Keep in mind, this all started with a Reddit post. I, uh, I put up some tips on uh, mic that I guess, uh, that, that mic sound is a little bit more important than video quality. You want the mic quality there. Uh, really needs to be better than video quality. You can watch a, you can watch a horrible looking cell phone video from 2009 or, or sooner. And, uh, it, and so long as you can hear it, it's okay. But as soon as it's a, it's a perfectly 4k video and, uh, the audio is just crackly and awful. You, you, you don't do it. Your brain doesn't work like that. So some of the basics that you're going to kind of want to know is uh, what does my mic even sound like before anything? Like, like no processing, no nothing. I plugged a USB Yeti microphone into the computer. What does it sound like? You don't know. Uh, you need a good idea of what it sounds like. So you can either just do a test recording, listen to it back, uh, that that's always a surefire way to know what you're listening to. Or I'm going to show you now, if you go into the uh, sound control panel in Windows 10, we'll just go to the control panel. I'll walk you through the whole thing here now. Um, we're going to go to small. We're going to go to sound. Perfect. It's already up. So if you go to control panel sound, it gets you right there. Bypassing the Windows 10 looking uh, screen. That looks like this. Uh, and if you get to this screen, all you have to do is click sound control panel over the side uh, and you'll be exactly where we need to be. So from there, you have your playback, recording sounds, communication. You have all this playback is your speakers or your headset, whatever you're listening to your audio from. For, for the purposes of the demonstration, you probably need to, uh, okay, you not probably need to, you really need to make sure it's on a headset, not speakers. If you have speakers and you try this, it'll feed back, it'll loop, and it'll be a high-pitched, painful, awful, damage your speakers. You don't want to do that. So make sure your default is, in this case, mine is already set. Uh, you'll, you would just go properties, uh, not even properties. Um, it would be set as default. It's already there. So let's go to one that's not. So this Sapphire Audio, that's my interface. Say uh, I want that. You would just say set as default device and or default communication device is fine as well. You want that because then that's what you'll be listening from. From there, you'll want to go over to the recording. As you can see, as I talk, all three of these are going up. One of these is the microphone. One of these is this. Uh, and the output of the cable is, we'll get it. We'll get into that in a second. So from there, you'll want to go into your, your, uh, a normal mic, your headset. In this case, we'll do the headset because that's what I said we we're going to start on. In that case, that's microphone here, strict sound card. It's plugged into the back of my computer for, for a lot of you. It's probably real tech, 
uh, or, or something along those lines. You'll want to right click properties and then you can say, listen, listen to this device. As soon as you do this, uh, it's going to sound echoey for you here, um, listening to me, but you'll be able to hear your own device. There we go. That is this mic on top of this mic. Um, when I edit this, I'll probably make it only this mic here. Uh, but yes, you'll be able to actually hear what your mic sounds like. So you can shut that off and you'll head over to advance. Advance is the sound quality of what the microphone is actually outputting. In this case, two channel left and right, uh, 24 bit over 48 is what I'd recommend. Um, 16 bit by 44 one is actually CD quality. Uh, but if you keep the 24, if you double it, double it, you'll be good. 24, 48. Round numbers, computer likes round numbers. That's what you want to go. All right, from there, now that you know what your mic actually sounds like, uh, you'll want to uh, you'll want to go to these websites or at least Google search um, what I have here. Um, so you will go to Google and you will just type in VST host and it's this Herman Saib, 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 Saib. I don't know, it's in a different language. You will go there and you will scroll down a little bit and there's this VST host 32-bit x86.zip. You will download the 32-bit. 32-bit is fine. You'll say, I have a 64-bit machine. You can run the 64-bit version. I don't care. 32-bit works on both 64 and 32. You're, so you're safe downloading that. After you'll download that, um, you'll extract it to, uh, let's, I'll give you an example here. Um, we will save it. From there, it's going to open up. Well, for me, it's going to open up in the uh, WinRAR. Anything that can open a zip file, you'll want to extract it to a location where you know where it is. So whether it's 32-bit uh, program files or on your desktop even, desktop's probably your uh, safest bet because you'll always know where it is and you'll be running the application. Um, but we'll we'll make a shortcut later for it. So you'll extract it. You've got this right here. So now keep that in mind. You know where that is saved at. Next thing you'll want to Google search is replugs and it'll send you to uh, reaper.fm slash replugs. Uh, and then you will come down and get, I would, if you got the 64 bit version of VST host, I would recommend probably sticking with the plugins, the 64 bit plugins, if not the 32 bit. Um, so you'll want to download those. And then the last thing you want to download is VB audio virtual cable. So that's simple enough, big orange, green, uh, orange, green button, definitely a green button. I, I saw that green there, orange button download, and, uh, it'll ask you to install it. You'll have to run that as admin. So make sure that you do have admin rights to be able to install this driver. All that does is in your, let's pull that up here. Uh, sound settings, control panel that adds this sound driver. So it gives you playback, the input and the recording output. Um, that'll come in, in handy in just a sec. So after you have all of that, the uh, replugs will want to download and save somewhere. Make sure you know where that is because uh, you'll be referring to it in a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, just make sure you have the driver installed for, for the virtual cable. And then you're back to VST host. This is where the fun begins and, and all the, the testing and probably spending more time than you'd like in this program. So we'll have this open. We'll open it here. That's exactly what it looks like. So I already have this set to, oh, I don't want that. Uh, I lost it. I lost it. I resized the window and I lost it. This might happen to you. Resize the video, uh, the window, not video. There we go. Smaller, more convenient. Uh, we're going to work with this. So you have your input. It says your input and your output. First thing we're going to want to go through are the file plugin performance engine devices, those up at the top. So under file, you're going to want just plug in auto connect. This is, this is how it works for me. May not work for you, may give you an error. Um, I do, I have had errors with this program before. Um, usually just a matter of redownloading it and then it corrects itself, but uh, you want plug in auto connect and then you will go down to set plugin path and then it's going to say, Hey, where do you want that plugin path saved? You will refer to wherever you downloaded those replugs. You will just the main replug folder, VST plugins, that works. Um, so that it adds that file in there. It knows where the plugins are located. Uh, under plugins, all I have, auto save bank, reload bank, nothing else. 
I don't even hit load save, nothing save program. I don't even worry about it yet. Performance, last three, auto save, auto save, plug in bangs, and mute on load. Mute on load, I, you probably don't even need, but I have it set. Hey, it works. Engine, I didn't even touch. Devices, now this is where you're going to set your input and your output. So you'll want to go over to wave. And then you have, as, as you can see here, you can see the little green bar going off. The input, MME, and then whatever your microphone is. If it's USB, if it's Yeti, if it says, if it's headset, if it's a uh, Sapphire, uh, or sorry, a Focusrite, IO, whatever it's going to be. Um, See, so yeah, I even have the Sapphire one here. You'll pick whatever your microphone is. Then for your output, you're going to put whatever your headset is so that you can hear back whatever you are uh, whatever you're saying into your mic um, also make sure that listen the the checkbox that we put before I can't even talk uh, is unchecked you want you don't want to be listening to it like a million times this is also where things are going to get really funky with uh, my voice and what you're listening through because you're going to hear the examples of everything we change as I'm doing it um, so that you can definitely get a good grasp of what each of the plugins do uh, so I'm, I am literally going to walk you through what they are. You can skip ahead if you want. That's fine. Skip through until wherever you need it. So now you are hearing, and I am hearing, back in my headset, what I sound like through this I did mic. have to add one plug-in. And I'm also talking slower because if you've seen any sort of speech jammer business... That's exactly what's going on. So, yeah, just know I'm fighting that. So you'll want to go up to this uh, load plugin, and then you have the replugs here. It shows the replugs because of where you have your plugin path. Uh, where did we where did we go? There we go. Plugins. If not, it's in file plugins. You can find it there as well. Um, I had to toss in an EQ just to get everything working. I'm going to delete it here in a second. It's not even doing anything. So what we're going to want to start with and probably the most important one that also causes the most delay if you're having the issue is this refer, F-I-R. We're going to go with that one here and I'm going to replace the EQ so it's going to disappear but this is what it's going to show this is going to look this is what it's going to look like all right so now that we have the reefer in reefer the reefer in here of course uh <laughs> oh it's it's late and i've got a newborn right next to me uh now that we have the reefer in here um you can click on the little almost compass compass looking it's a potentiometer Sorry, uh, but looks like a compass. There you go. Uh, you're going to see a live view of what's going on, what you can hear. So if I'm silent, all that movement there is noise ambience and whatever this mic is picking up. It's garbage. We don't want that. So, and you can even hear the, the hum in the background. Ugh, it's not good. So, okay. So when you change it to subtract, it's going to cut all audio. And so it's I'm trying to make it the easiest to be able to show you what it's doing. So when you do that, it cuts all audio. And you have to click the box uh, right next to this mode here. And it's going to create a profile of all that background noise. But you have to be completely silent when you do that. So I'm going to do it right now. You hear the noise I will change this to subtract and it will build this red line here okay so there now you have a reduction of just that ambient noise it may have made my voice a little more tinnier it took out a lot of the bass we're gonna correct that in a little bit so don't worry it sounds a little weird right now or at least different so with this new subtraction in here, what I'm going to want to do is, so you can still hear the keyboard clicking as I type, this is going to make the biggest difference with clicking mechanical keyboards. Um, I'm going to stay absolutely quiet, I'm going to do the noise profile, and uh, just tap it 
pretty casually. Um, you don't have to smash it and uh, you'll see the reduction and you'll even hear the difference as I'm clicking. Then I uncheck the box. Now it sounds really, now it took a lot of that tinniness out, but let me type and it's, it's so minimal right now compared to what it was. And again, we're going to adjust the rest of this noise, noise, sound. It's not noise. I guess it's noise, whatever. We're going to adjust it all in a little bit and it's, we're going to try and balance that out. Uh, but with gameplay in the background, you can't hear that at all. You literally can't hear it. I mean, you can hear it if you really try, if you're trying to pay attention to it. But it makes the biggest difference. So from that, with that reduction, we're going to add another plugin. Uh, this one is going to be an EQ just to try to balance out that tinniness, bass, to try and round out the voice a little bit. So replugs, EQ, it's going to double. And I'm going to show you a new thing with this. So, so now... now you can, you can actually, actually hear, hear the, the delay, delay in my, my voice because, because I'm, I'm taking two sources of audio. audio. One's from, from the input to refer to the output, output and, and one is from the input to the EQ to the output. output. So, so we need to adjust that. that. So uh, uh, the, the only thing that needs to be going to the output is the EQ. So we'll uncheck refer. That already fixed it. And then we got to chain both of these together in the order of how we want it to work. We're going to chain this one, not to the input, but to refer. So from there, kind of sounds back to how we were. Uh, with input, refer, EQ, output. From that, the EQ, you can kind of hear and again see where your tone is in your voice. Everybody's voice is different. What we're going to do is bump up the bass a little bit. Actually, I don't even want to do the, the low, sh uh, the low shelf. I wanted to do just in here a little bit and then move the high shelf a little bit and bump up some of, oof, sounds horrible. Uh, some of the high end. So now it's, it's too loud. It's peaking, it's called. And so what we need to do is go back to this and we need to actually lower the output of refer so that we know we're not peaking and causing that distortion. So now with that, we can go back into the EQ and listen to more or less what our voice sounds like and what we want it to sound like. Um, again, if you're listening to your own voice over and over and over, you get used to what it sounds like. Uh, but if you're listening to it for like the first time and you go, oh, I don't like the voice, I, I don't like the sound of my own voice, then it's going to be a little harder. But doing gameplay, doing games, you get used to your own voice. So you kind of get an idea of what it needs to sound like, at least how you need to uh, fix it. So I'm getting a lot of those S's. I don't want... I don't want them to be super piercing in your face all the time. So I'm going to lower the high shelf here. Here. I can't even talk. Ugh, again, it's late and I'm sort of sleep deprived. So I'm going to lower that just so those S's, these S's, are, are not there as much. But you can still tell that I'm making a sound. Um, again, this is just this mic here. Not uh, not the RE320. So, I'm just leaving it there for now. As an example, sounds way better than it was. So, I want to give you a comparison of what it sounded like before and what it sounds like right now. So, again, this is what it sounds like currently. And without these changes, this is what it sounds like. And we're back. And it's awful. <laughs> Don't even like it. It's probably peaking. I can't really tell at the moment. But let's bring those back. And it's it's much better than it was. Um, 
I can I can sit in the EQ all day. So I'm not going to do that. I already have mine set however I want it. Um, but example for you okay. guys. One other thing that you can add is if you go up and add a compressor. Compressor is probably going to make one of the biggest differences if you're loud and always yelling or bullying kids online in Fortnite. I don't know. But the compressor is going to imagine yelling and putting a cap on as loud as it can possibly go. That's what the compressor is going to do. do. We're, We're doubled. doubled. Come, Come back. back. Chain, chain those how we want them. So now the compressor is not doing anything. This is the one I pulled up earlier. Compressor is not doing anything. You want to lower the threshold so that it is somewhat near wherever you're talking, whatever your level is. You want to change your ratio. If you really want to crush it, anything above six will crush it pretty pretty well. And as an example, this it's crushing. So even if I'm talking louder, loud, 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 you can't tell. But as soon as I'm bringing that back up, I can, I can make it very dynamic. Uh, so typically... I mean, you, normal singing vocals is usually three to one. Uh, anywhere, again, wherever you think. And then you just you just want to be compressing when you know you're hitting your loudest. So, I mean, again, you're going to have to play with it a lot. Um, the attack can be as, as small as you want. That's okay. By default, it's at three. Um, don't worry about the uh, low pass, high pass, anything else here. You'll want to set the ratio. Knee size is how, again, it's tough to explain it. How uh, zero to compressed, it rounds out that immediate compression. So you can toss that up a little bit and it, it'll sound, the transition of being compressed will be a little bit more round. So there's that. We, you've got the basics down. So, we're talking like this, or we're talking like this, and it's blown out, and it's too loud. We don't like it. You can even hear the echo of the, the cup here, which, again, you don't want that. Um, we're going to put all these back on. Um, see, even just listening to it, I want to go into the EQ, and I want to fight it. Uh, but that's just an example of how you can, you can reduce that keyboard noise and uh, get on with your game and your friends won't stop bugging you about fixing your mic or your mic's too loud or move away from your keyboard or stop using a keyboard altogether use a console controller I don't know but example one complete I'm just gonna walk you through how I use this mic and uh, the differences of with and without these basic plugins so let's switch to that. All right. Now we are back to the RE320. Uh, and same same principles apply. Refer. You can already see the noise is minimal compared to the other microphone. So it barely had to do anything. These are the key clicks. And again, you can hear them. But when the game's going, when you're talking over it, you don't even notice it. EQ, a little bit. I've messed with it. This is what I've been sticking with. I think it sounds pretty good. Fairly accurate. Boom. Compression. Same thing here. So as I'm talking, it compresses more and more. I'm talking louder, yelling, yelling, yelling. But it's not blowing out your ears. It's not blowing out your friend's ears. So, after all of this and you can hear your own mic okay you're okay devices wave your output is now going to be the input of the cable cable input vb audio that's the driver you installed earlier you're going to change it to that boom so now that you have all your plugins set they you, that you've got them wherever you would you you like to hear them you're going to want to save it so that when you close it you're not going to have to re re input all of that i was going to say reset all of that but uh so you'll go up to performance 
save as or save and it'll bring you to the same thing. Rename it whatever you want. Test, mic, who knows what. Uh, and then you'll see that it, it, it'll be a loaded performance here. And then every time you close it, if you reopen it, it should bring you right up with all your plugin settings, all your plugins in general, and you should be right back up and going. One thing to note is that with this particular program, what I've noticed, what a lot of people have noticed is if you record for any longer than about 30, 45 minutes or so, this will become out of sync. So as you're talking, it will start to sound like this and it's awful and you have to fight it and it looks bad. You know, you don't want that. In my case with Twitch, uh, my, my chat let me know, hey, you're out of sync. All I have to do is close it, reopen it. It's real quick. Look, I'll even do it here. It's open, we're back, it's synced again, everybody's happy. My mic input on the recording software is, my new mic is the cable output. So the cable output, it's digital, it's all digital, it's virtual, um, is invisible. So let me pull up some sort of drawing program. Also, not perfect, it's not perfect. I mess with it probably before every single episode I ever record. I am always tweaking little things. Um, but I found it works. It's way better than just hearing mechanical keyboard clicky keys, clicky blue keys, Logitech. Ugh, not for recording. Reddit post, thank you, commenter, whoever said that. Uh, shout out to you that said, never use mechanical keyboard when recording. I've had this keyboard longer than I've been recording YouTube videos. So there's that. So. You have your microphone that goes into VST host and uh, you know that by going to devices, wave, input, port, that's Sapphire Audio. That's my, that's my IO here for this microphone. That's what's picking up this microphone. So I know that's there. The output, or before I get to the output, it goes through all the plugins, then it hits the output. The output is the input of this virtual curly cable. Now the output of your virtual curly cable is your new mic. So whether you're in Discord, you're in Skype, you're in game and in, in game chat, you will be selecting this uh, cable, but it, it'll it'll be cable output. Let me find an, an, an example. Uh, let me pull up. So Discord. with Discord pulled up, you have voice and video. Your input is now that virtual cable output. Your output devices, your headphones, your speaker, whatever else at that point. Usually it's a headset. So for the most part, that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Maybe I'll make a part two and answer some of those questions. Maybe you're super confused at a certain point. Um, something's breaking. If this video was anything helpful for you, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll, uh, I'll try to answer it. Um, I, I don't know how long it, this is, if, if it helped, if it didn't help, if you're confused, if nothing's going your way and you need an ice cream cone, go get an ice cream cone. I don't care. But if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It helps. And I will see all you guys in the next tutorial.